Do you not know? Have you not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? Have you not understood since the earth was founded? He sits enthroned above the circle of the earth, and his people are like grasshoppers. He stretches out the heavens like a canopy, and spreads it out like a tent to live in. He brings princes to naught, and reduces the rulers of this world to nothing. No sooner are they planted, no sooner are they sown, no sooner do they take root in the ground, then he blows on them, and they wither. Their whirlwind sweeps them away like chaff. To whom will you compare me to? I mean, to whom will you compare me? Or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all these? He brings out the starry host one by one, and calls forth each by name. Because of his mighty, because of his great power and his mighty strength, not one of them is missing. Why do you complain, Jacob? Why do you say, Israel, that the way is hidden from the Lord, and my cause is disregarded by my God? Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not grow tired or weary, and no, in his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those, but those who... Hope in the Lord will find will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. And what's the reference? Oh, um, Isaiah forty twenty one through forty thirty one. Good job, Elijah.